After a few months of searching and waiting, I finally found a second-hand countertop display fridge that was within budget. It is surprising how difficult it is to find a fridge that is not working, but there's no way I would pay a few hundred dollars for a perfectly good fridge just to take it apart for a project like this. The first thing I did was to carefully take everything apart. I was hoping to reuse as much of what came with the fridge as possible, so I was being mindful not to damage anything when dismantling. What I want out of this fridge is an insulated cabinet to store reptile eggs at a stable temperature and a compartment beneath to store all the electricals. Components responsible for cooling the fridge like the compressor, evaporator and condenser are not needed in this project. I also decided to replace the old rusty metal shelf on the bottom of the fridge with a polycarbonate panel. It will allow me to easily screw and secure electronic parts directly onto the panel. The way this incubator is going to receive power will be the same as the original fridge, through an IEC C14 inlet. I want to keep this feature so that the power cord can be unplugged for transport. The power cable coming into this incubator was then split in order to supply the various parts of this incubator, including the heating element, fan, thermostat, and LED lights. Within this section of the fridge base is where the cooling normally happens. To convert it into an incubator, I'll need to replace the cooling component with my own heating element. I will still utilize the original design of this part of the fridge, but instead of carrying cold air into the main compartment of the fridge, the fan will now blow through a heating element and carry warm air into the main compartment of the incubator. My heating element consists of an AC PTC heater and some aluminium heatsink bars to distribute the heat from the PTC heater over a large surface area. The aluminium bars are cut to size and then fastened together with two aluminium flat bars. This will now serve as a large rectangular heatsink. The heatsink was then attached to the front of the fan such that the air is forced to come into contact with the heatsink and carry heat with it. I also added some washers as a spacer to allow air to pass through easily. I added some thermal paste that will help transfer the heat from the heater to the heat sink and then secured the heater in place. The cables from the fan and the heater was then fed through to the bottom of the fridge where all the electricals will hide. After that, I resealed the divider with some sealant so that the air will only flow in one direction. The next part looks messy, but it is not too complicated. What I did was essentially connecting the heater, fan, and LED lights to the power source, but each circuit contained either a thermostat or a paddle switch to have some form of control. I have other videos that go into a bit more detail on how I wire thermostats and incubators. The fridge came with two switches, so I used one for controlling the LED lights and the other for cutting power to the heating supply in case I want to overwrite the thermostat. 
To complete the conversion, I removed the fridge labels and cleaned the unit up. I also decided to add a reptile related sticker to make this look a little more like an incubator than a fridge. All I'm missing now are some shelves. For some reason, this fridge only came with one. I decided to go with black plastic egg crates for the shelves as they are waterproof and allow air to pass through. I also designed and 3D printed some plastic holders to help keep these shelves up. Once the shelves are in, the reptile incubator is now complete and ready to use.